Good morning, world. Hey, I have been asked, uh, thank you, Carol, to talk about preparing for a trip of this magnitude. <laughs> Budgeting and planning. Okay, thank you, Carol, to do a video on that because um, a lot of people could do this. Um, Yes, many people tell me, you're so lucky. Here's how I define luck. Work, planning, and saving money equals luck. Um, so you have, to, um, you have to prepare for this. It doesn't just land in your lap. Um, and I'm traveling by myself, so there isn't a backup of, okay, you take care of that, honey. Um, I do the whole thing. So, um, I uh, have stayed away from Europe for 10 years and decided that's enough. <laughs> I'm going to make it happen this year. Um, so I decided that I think in September when I got back from Nepal and was dying to go to Italy and here I am. Okay, here's how I did it. Now, I've been on a lot of world trips for a lot longer, but because Europe is far more expensive than Asia and Central America and South America, but not more expensive than the United States, um, it took a lot more planning. So here's what you have to do. It depends on where you're going about your planning. Um, so like in Asia, you can just show up and get a room pretty much anywhere for between 10 and $20 a night. Well, that's not something you can do here. Um, so it's a different strategy. Um, okay, so the first thing is the flights. Um, for both Asia and Europe, you want to start looking at flights far before the time that you go. Now, I've done it up to like like a week before. I paid a lot more for that. And four months. Um, so it just depends. And I always go one way because I don't know where I'm going to be. I like traveling that way. But other people, you want to get the round trip, you can get some really good deals. Like you, I could have gotten a $500 round trip from the USA but instead, I paid uh, twice that to have the option of the one ways. So I think I paid four fifty dollars for each way, choosing paying extra for a seat. But that's to Europe. So, um, And then you have to be ready to pounce. when it, That's the heater back there. <laughs> when it's time, you got to get it. Um, okay, this is going to be a long one. It's already three minutes. Um and here's what I did for this trip. I just kept saving and saving and dumping money in there um, and really cutting corners at home in the U.S., not going out for fancy meals so much. I still did it because I'm working. I can, um, I can do it. I can't do it every day, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, and then I cut corners in a lot of other ways. I don't have a vehicle. I am so happily car free. That saves me a lot of money. I do my taxes every year and it's thousands to own a car. And I don't have that cost. I use Uber, Caltrain, uh, sometimes buses, but usually a lot of walking too and I like it. If you walk five miles a day, you'll never get fat. Um, and that's what I've been doing, so. Um, Okay, so preparing how much money you're going to need. So it really depends on where you're going. The flights, get those out of the way. That's going to be a big chunk. Okay, for this trip, um, I budgeted between $50 and $65 per night to stay somewhere. That's way more than I would budget for Asia. Um and I didn't do everything ahead of time. I use Airbnb, VRBO, Booking.com. Those three have been really good. Because you can get pretty good deals. And I really like traveling at this level now rather than the rock bottom I used to do because um, there's a lot more comfort. It's like, look, I have a real kitchen. I can make my own coffee today. I made dinner for myself last night. I did uh, some work and some writing here. It's a beautiful apartment great location. I'm very grateful. 
Um, and, you know, you can also, another thing you can do if you want to just fly by the seat of your pants is get a place for landing and then walk around and talk to people. Now, in Europe, that could work in the off season like now. It's winter, so you can do it then, but you couldn't do it in summer. Um, prices double. So I'm not going to come back in summer, but that's a good time for me to be working in San Francisco, so I can't leave anyway. I'm fully booked up in summer. Um, okay, so what else do you need? Oh, ways to budget for food. Okay, last thing um, is eating, okay? I spent more on, my, on eating than I thought I would, but <laughs> this is Europe, and I discovered food I've never had. I just had cannoli for the first time. Cannoli, can, yeah, that's it. That's a sweet dessert with ricotta, pistachio cream was in mine. The place is next door. That's dangerous. Um, delicious. I'll include a picture. Um, but guess what? Prosecco, which is so close to champagne, but it's from Italy, is like you can get a whole bottle for 10 euros or less. Um, because it's from here. Same bottle would cost probably 15 to 20 euros because it would have to be imported in the U.S. So, and it's really, I, I really like drinking it. It's very light. I've tried a few beers. Um, but you can get stuff like that at the supermarket and have it in, most rooms have uh, refrigerators. So you can save and, uh, you know, have your drink every day. But, um, of course you want to go out to some nice restaurants and you're going to have to spend about 20 euros to go out to a decent restaurant. Um, but you're going to get some good food. Wow. I've found some incredible restaurants that served amazing food, but you know, it can just be anywhere. It can be some little mom and pop place on a side street that just knocks your socks off. Um, so you got to budget that. Now, if you didn't want to go out at all and you didn't, well, if you wanted to go out but you couldn't afford it, you could just go to supermarkets. That's a lot less expensive. So last night I went to the supermarket and spent, I think, 35 euros on very high quality food for my uh, apartment and happy to do it because that's probably like six meals. Um, oh, and another thing is... Uh, it's widely, credit cards are widely used now, so if you can get one that doesn't have the fees, I don't have fees on mine, you can uh, avoid the monumental astronomical fees that you have to pay to change your money here, which is pretty crappy and that needs to change. Um, or to get, well, Charles Schwab, I'm gonna see about having an account there because you can get ATM with no fees whatsoever. Um, so I think that's about it. If you have questions, let me know. We're up to eight minutes. I usually don't go that long, but there's a lot to plan when you do a big trip like this. This is a five and a half week trip. Uh, I have about a week left. I'm so happy to have had such an amazing experience and happy to help you um, write me here. Thanks for the suggestion, Carol. Um, of course, I could talk more about it, but I think you have a good uh, basic and a t uh, way to approach uh, your putting your trip together. So I'll see you in the next video.